Now look to start this game. Duquesne really doesn't want to bring any early help. They want to play Damas one on one. And Hawkins with the easy rebound. Here's Shannon. He lost control. And Clark is able to pick it up. Day Day Grant credited with that steal. Clark, no look pass down low. Dixon finishes strong. You got to try to make Illinois play against numbers. And Shannon C. Bowers. Here's Damask up top for three. It is good. After a couple of bounces, a kiss to the crowd. Hawkins thought about the three. Takes a step to his left. Throws up the three. Wanted to draw the foul. Followed his shot off the glass. Good. And they bailed out Duquesne because they did. Grant has one foul. They could have easily went back inside to try to draw that second foul. And here's DeMichael, the freshman, who's got such good speed. They don't want to get up and down in a transition game with this high-flying offense of Illinois. And that's happening right now. Here's Shannon, who caught it in front of DeMichael and lays it in. Trying to get some deflections. We know he's an outstanding passer from the post. Rebound by the Illini. The putback is good. He is their leading rebounder. Dixon lost it, and the turnover forced by the Illini. Here comes Shannon. He's like a receiver. What a pass. Crosses over right down the middle of the lane. Count the bucket. As soon as Shannon saw DeMichael on him, he calls for the ball screen, but he rejects it. The defender, you have to force it to the screen, DeMichael, in that situation. The bench. So they just bring in waves of players. Drame over the top of danger. What a beautiful floater. Yeah, Keith Dambrot's meant an awful lot to him. Uh, LeBron used to go to the Jewish Community Center in Akron where Keith would do clinics. Here's Danger, who's going right to the rim, and he slams it home. Big guys are in half court. Look at this pocket pass here. Of course, the players trust him and believe in him. Got great interpersonal skills. He also played for Coach Dan Brown at Akron. He did. Hawkins for three. It's good. He splashed it home from the left sideline. We talk about size and points in the paint, but also defensively. Hawkins up top. You step beyond the arc. It doesn't matter. He's got back-to-back -back threes and a timeout called by Duquesne. He's a mismatch. You can play him at the three, the four. Netches and Clark are in the same spot. Netches, no look pass to Drame. Drame's runner, that worked before, it hasn't worked there. He'll get his own rebound, get everybody off the floor. It's the beauty. Work inside. They gotta shorten the possessions and not allow Illinois to have extra possessions. They've turned it over four times. They've given up four offensive rebounds. Shannon cans it from up top. When that's happening, that's trouble for the opposition. He's got 10. 20, uh, 17 points a game. Hawkins way downtown. It's good. He's feeling it. He's got three threes. Because you want to keep Shannon on one side of the floor. You can't let him catch it in the middle. You've got to take something away. Damask with a shot fake goes into the paint. Right to the rim. He lays it off the glass. This is an 8 0 run. Clark, fadeaway jumper. Tough shot. It's good. He rattles it home. Clock short in the game, so and then attack. And DeMichael comes spinning in. You gotta finish that. He probably didn't need to go that far into the baseline. Oh, wide open lane. Rogers gets everybody off their feet with his back to the baseline. Watch the lane open up. No one there. Finish inside. Well, thanks for the love. Oh, yeah, no Sports problem. HQ. Tom, thank you. Gary A in the paint. Pounds it off the glass. What he has programmed the last five years. They've won five straight. They're averaging over 87 points per game since the first of February. Barrett against Hawkins. Off the glass. Powers it. And he can get to the rim and he reads the second level. And then he, most of the time he's going all the way to the bucket. Well, he likes the physical contact too. Drame from the baseline. And if you're a Duquesne, you really want to try to cut into this lead. Maybe get, go into the locker room down 12 points. Damask to Rodgers. Back to Damask, open for three. No good. But Danger with the rebound. The putback is there around the rim and down. So the ball finds the open man and then Dane Danger puts Duquesne in danger because he's on the offensive glass. They were a team a few weeks ago that was on the bubble. Yes, they were. Looking like they were getting in the tournament. DeMichael going to the basket. DeMichael speeds past the basket. Couldn't be more happy for those guys. DJ Horn, DJ Burns. 
Michael O'Connell. And Damask is foul. Count the bucket. A different defender, but with Netches on him, you got to bring some help. And you can't really show up if you don't get the attempts. Yeah, Clark is in with two fouls. Missed there. Rebound by Shannon. Really good no call not to bail him out on that. Shannon right to the rim. Sweeps it for Danger, who slams it home. Look at the quick, decisive move. Drama in the right spot. Back to the man. Damask working against Dede Grant. Got away with the travel. Gets a bucket. Here's to Michael. No look pass down though. Just not enough on it. Shannon, watch. Here comes Harmon to Shannon who slams it home. And he's into the camera well. That's what Shannon does here off the pass. You know, Shannon obviously explosive in transition, but that precision pass by Justin Harmon, that, that's not an easy pass. To Michael, quick spin into the land of giant. Dixon assesses and is able to get it to go. 11 of their last 12. They started the A-10 0-5. Incredible. It's a remarkable run. And, and looking to make a run right here. Here's Jimmy Clark assessing. He'll take the three. It's good. That's a good way to start this second half. Struggle a little bit getting to the basket in the first half, but it was good to see that he knocked down that three. Yeah, just one five, five in the first half. And that might be changing after this game. Look at this lob. Mm. You can't get a higher percentage. Not allow those lobs. Fusini Drame didn't communicate that time. But I'll tell you what, Jimmy Clark is communicating with his three-point shots. It's a good transition defense, too, by Illinois. They got back and got matched up. Uh-oh. Here's oh. Shannon. Watch out, everybody. He was kind of gentle on that one. He wants to stay on the lane line and in that gap, right, in that slot. But he doesn't have to be that far out. He can step up another step and not have to shoot that long-range three. Gary A. Finger roll off the glass. It's good. But we know he's capable of scoring averaging 10 points a game. Drame up top, Drame for three, and it's good. Well, they're firing threes, aren't they? <laughs> Remember, his comments with A.J. Ross was about not just offense, but defense. And Damask is able to finish. He has 15 points. He's better than they thought. Yes. Is what Coach Underwood told us yesterday at practice. State A. Grant offensive rebound off the glass. It's good. 58-37. 21 point game. Rodgers posted up against DeMichael. Got clock under 10. Swings it up top to Damask. Here's Shannon for three. It's good. Seven different guys had an assist in that game. That's the highest percentage they've had all season. Damask has six tonight. Shannon into the paint. Shannon jams it home. To it. He just keeps going higher and higher. He solves a lot of problems. He's on a different planet right now. Well, you can see how connected they are, right? They have not lost their focus. And Jimmy Clark is fouled. You were talking about starting the role, Coach. I think Harmon has done a good job defensively while he's been in there. Justin Harmon, the 6'4 graduate student. I totally agree. Shannon again going right to the rack. Count the bucket. He's at a certain gear. And this, for a left-handed player, he's just as strong. They're the leading scorers. Shannon with 24. And Danger with an offensive board. Puts it on the deck. Heads to the hook. Reverse layup is good as the big man does a dive along the baseline. Team Olajuwon spin right here. <laughs> <laughs> with the left-handed reverse. That's what college basketball is all about. And I'm glad we're able to tell those stories. Yeah. Off the glass, Dede Grant count the bucket. Ronski hopping his way toward the paint, fadeaway jumper from the baseline. Oh, Good, that's a nice shot. And you're trying to protect the lead. You really don't want a double team. You'll take your chances here. Under nine to play in the second half. Ronski working against Damas. Ronski with that fader again. That's working for him. Damask will inbound along the baseline. He gets it to the corner. Hawkins for three. No good off the front of the rim. And Damask runs it down. Here's Shannon going to the basket. Shannon lays it in. Just the ability to change gears and speed. 
here it is, now it's over. Something you team when your best player is given that type of effort. Yeah, he'll check out with 30 points. Barre is able to convert that one. You guys know that better than anybody. Here's the mask in the paint, off the glass, count the bucket, switch it hands. I mean, in the ISO game, one on one, he's got tremendous footwork. He can score left or right around the rim. Now, you want to be smart if you're Illinois. You don't want to get any technical no, fouls. No, you don't want to get, get any technical Any scuffle. And Barre is able to get the pass from Drabe and lay it in. Yeah, I think that Brad Underwood's probably close to bringing some guys into this game. Damask going to the cup. Damask finishes strong as he falls to the floor. What a shot. Yeah. He's got 22. It's 84-59. They're about Some 10 the seconds away from clearing the pitch, sir. They're looking at Coach Underwood saying. We'll see as Illinois move on how effective Domas can be on this back down. That's a significant part of their offense. Gary A is able to slam that one home off the miss by Damas to play in the second half. Illinois clicking on all cylinders. Two minutes left in Keith Dambrot's coaching career, at least for the time being, 65 years old. Hansberry going to the basket. His runner off the glass is good. Driving to the basket. He's trying to impersonate Dane Danger. Yeah, really. You know what? Coach Underwood talked to us about him yesterday. He's expecting big things from him in the offseason. And for Illinois, with a resounding 89-63 victory, they move on to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2005.